Hello Cancer, how are you? Welcome to my channel, this is Crystal. So, we are going to go ahead and get into your love reading, you and them, for April 1st to the 15th, okay? See what energy is surrounding you and your person. Get a little deets, a little deets, right? So if this doesn't resonate with you, please check out your moon and your rising and Venus sign, because it could resonate over there. But we're going to go ahead and get started, Cancer. Let's see, Spirit, what do we have? What do we have for cancer for them and their person? What's going on with them? What's going on with them? Hmm. Okay, cancer. So what I'm picking up for you guys for you and your person is, well, first of all, let me just say the overall energy is the tower. So something is about to go down with the justice following it, but it's duly right for whatever's going to happen. It's because it has to happen. It's going to bring balance to the relationship. Um, what I'm feeling is for you two that this is a relationship or this is a connection between you and your person that has been in a working progress. You've been working on it, been trying to form it, giving your time, giving your energy towards something to make something happen, to make something work out, okay? But what I'm feeling is, for you guys, is that your person here is is not really... I feel like this person is kind of playing games with you, okay? Maybe a little bit, maybe playing games with you just a little bit. I have the Page of Cups here, okay? And that can signify an offer of love or just somebody, you know, coming towards you. But I'm feeling more so that they're just toying with you. They're just toying with you. They're not really in it to win it. You have been working hard. You have been working towards this connection and wanting it to work out, okay? You've been putting some efforts in um, or whatnot. You mutually have this, the Empress, okay? This is what lies between you guys. So I'm feeling like it's it's peaceful, okay? I'm feeling like your relationship is very peaceful. It's serene. Um, it's very calm, very nurturing. You know, like you are nurturing this relationship because you're putting the work in it. I feel like this person is just taking what you're giving to them but not really maybe reciprocating back, okay? And with that, they're not being very truthful, very honest with how they feel towards you. Um, they're just toying with you, okay? Now, <laughs> whether or not you know this or not, I don't know, but they're not, they're not fully in it. You know, when I look at this card and I think a little fish, okay, yeah, it's popping out, but it's going back in, it's popping back out, it's going back in. And you really don't... You've been putting so much effort in this that it really just is not something that you want to, like, this is going to upset you, <laughs> you know what I mean? And this is what's going to bring on this tower, you know, but at the same time, this is probably what is needed for you, what's needed for you to hear, what's needed for you to go in and in a reflect and find out what's really going on between the connection that you have it's very peaceful on the surface you guys do get along i don't feel like there's any kind of like um, maliciousness okay but i do feel like this person is just kind of playing games okay we're gonna go ahead and cl further clarify these cards all right so spirit why why is the Page of Cups here for their person? Why is the Page of Cups here for Cancer's person? Okay. So we get the Nine of Pentacles. So, you know, maybe they're just somebody that's just very materialistic in their ways. Maybe they're somebody that just is all about um, making that money, getting that dollar, which there's nothing wrong with that. It's just they're more, obs they're more no, I'm going to say obsessed, but they're more focused on that than focused on you. See, you're over here working. Okay, you're working on this relationship, but they are just more of a like working on their coin, working on their money, working on the possessions of that, what they can get and what they can buy. Um, so I'm getting a very materialistic kind of vibe from your person here, Cancer. Why is the Eight of Coins here? For cancer spirit why is the eight of coins here for cancer 
Okay, so you got the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Wands. So I'm feeling like for you, Cancer, is that you are... You're working on the connection and you're putting forth the efforts that you need to make in, but it's leaving you in this dream state. It's leaving you in this, you know, idea of the what ifs, what what could happen, maybe potential future for you guys, where you want to go, what are the options that are going to be given to you. Um, and you're thinking of all these different scenarios of, well, if, you know, maybe we'll move together, maybe we'll get married, maybe, you know, you're thinking of all these grand things, but I feel like, you know, they're just things that are in your mind, that are in your head that... That really, it's it's it hasn't formed to be concrete yet. These are just things that you floating around for you because you're wanting to work towards those things. And this person is not giving reciprocation in that way. All right. So I'm also feeling like here with the Nine of Wands is that you're, I mean, I still get this work vibe. You're still passionately working towards it. You're, you're trying to get this foundation begun. You're trying to get it started. You're trying to get it to get off the floor and running. You have a lot of love. I had a, have a lot of, of passion towards this person. Like you want to be with them. You want to move forward with them. But Cancer, this person is just not... It is just not, they're not seeing it, okay? They're too focused on their on their money. They're too focused on their, the material gain or wealth of what they have. So um, what I'm going to do is clarify this tower because I see a tower moment coming for you. I don't know if that's something, hold on, I dropped cards. I don't know if that is something that is going to cause heartache. Or just a realization on their part. Okay. What I'm picking up though. What I'm picking up is that you're going to come to a realization that this work that you've been putting in. That this time that you've been putting in. That you've been trying to, you know, further grow this connection, this relationship. You're, it's going to end. I do feel like you are going to have to move on you're going to have to move on this and even though you may still still stay friends you may still stay friends i can see you still staying friends but they're not going to be giving you what you you're you're wanting they're not going to be fulfilling these dreams and ideas of you two together and you're sitting here steady still doing the work you know and they're not putting anything in they're just playing games with you all right so the tower moment spirit cl clarify this the tower moment please thank you why is the tower here why is the tower here thank you spirit thank you guys one more shuffle all right cut the cards the six of pentacles the justice again and the page of swords so i told you the justice is right under it i feel like once this happens once you move past this once this relationship kind of just dissipates i feel like you know you're gonna gain more balance in who you are and where you're at and maybe even in the relationship because like i said you guys could still be friends you you guys can still hang out it's just if you're looking for a future with this person i just don't see it happening i feel like it's gonna come to you and you're just it's gonna be done but it's gonna be done for the best okay because it's going to bring balance the six of pentacles balance you see that scale that he's holding because the give and take is going to be more equal when you end this okay the justice again and then you got the page of swords so i'm feeling like here there needs to be like some kind of communication between you two um or i'm feeling i'm also feeling like with the page of swords being here um for the tower that that they they are a little bit immature in their ways and maybe that's why they're toying with you they're a little immature in their ways they're focused on other things not you and um like they they talk to you they they, they come towards you you know not with passion not with you know the the reciprocation of feelings that you want they're coming to you very like immaturely just like 
giggly, I, you know, and I feel like just the game plan. Like, I just don't feel like this messenger here is a very good messenger of trying to get, you know, to try to win your heart. He, they're just there for fun. Very casual. Now, just to keep this in mind, the energies could be switched. So, Cancer, you could be the one that's playing games. Okay? I'm just saying. You could be the one playing games here. But there is going to be that tower moment. And it's going to bring you balance. Because the give and take between you two now, because now that the relationship where you have stopped doing the, the work, you know, the hard work to form this relationship is going to be balanced because you're no longer going to be putting that energy into it. You're going to be putting the same amount of energy. Okay. Even if you continue to be their friend, even if you continue to see them, you're going to be giving the same amount of energy that they're giving to you, which is, you know, even if they're playing games, you're just going to have that same energy given. Okay. Well, you want to hook up? Sure. Oh, okay. Well, we'll hook up. Oh, you want to go out and just hang out? Fine. But it's going to be very casual if you choose to go that route. Therefore, it's going to be balanced in a way because they're getting what they're putting out. You're giving them what they're putting out. So there it is. So I definitely see, um, you know, with the justice here is twice and maybe you're dealing with a Libra. Maybe you're dealing with a Libra. Libra full moon's about to come. So a lot of new, you know, new uncoverings of justice is going to happen. So, yep, that is what I see for you, Cancer. And just for you, I'm going to see if there's anybody that's coming in towards you after this. Let's see let's see what let's see what's going to happen. Let's see what's going to happen with you, Cancer. What else is coming towards Cancer for April 1st to the 15th? What else is coming towards Cancer for April 1st to the 15th? Thank you, universe. Thank you, spirit. All right, one more shuffle. Oh, there we go. Mm, Eight of Swords. Okay, so I'm definitely feeling that you are going to be um, unbinded. Like, you're going to wake up, but you're going to see it. You're not going to keep listening to the thoughts that may be going in your head anymore. That you are actually going to uh, wake up to it. So, there's the Eight of Swords right there. Okay. And you also have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands came out. So, you're going to be very confident after that and I think you're going to be very much knowing where you stand from that point on so if there's any future you know connections that are made you're going to have more of an idea of you know where you're at and what you're going to give and how much you're going to give and I think that moment for you when this comes is going to be one that keeps you in balance as well because you know we shouldn't we definitely shouldn't be put pouring out our energy and giving people giving people the excess of who of our self of our energy when we're not getting reciprocated or we're not getting anything back i'm not saying tr not try okay i'm just saying that we shouldn't continue putting us in these cycles of giving and giving and giving and giving and giving and not getting anything in return okay so there it is, Cancer. I hope this has helped you in some way. Please leave me a comment below. And um, until next time, bye. <laughs>